again, I just, I don't think it's worse than diamonds. I think it's a little bit better than diamonds. I've been looking for something to latch onto, and mm -hmm. I, I do agree, Solitaire is a more intriguing storyline. When the time came, I myself would have given you love. You knew that. You knew that! Then Tiffany Case, and on that alone, that might be enough to elevate it above. I just get, I, I, I get so f***ed up by the death of Kananga. It's so unbecoming of the, the, I, I, if they would have made, like, okay, who the f*** wrote, here's what our bad guy's gonna do. Bond's gonna shove this shark pill in his mouth, and he's gonna fart himself to death. <laughs> they should have fired that writer on the spot, and then come up with somebody new who could have come up with something better than that, mm -hmm. that was a little more fitting for the subject material, or everybody watched that balloon they shot up uh, the day of, and they were like, well, this movie's going to suck dick, but like, God damn it. I wish they would have just tried a little harder on the ending. If they had, if, if they had not done that, I, it would yeah. be not hard at all for me to put this above diamonds are forever. But like diamonds are forever owns what it is. Whereas this movie doesn't know what the fuck it is. And when it's in doubt, it just has another, another fucking chase scene. Like this movie embarrasses itself by just having one chase scene after another and one of those chase scenes does, is, is so unforgivable because it doesn't even make sense it's like bonds at the airport where we have a bunch of dudes chasing him and then we just cut and he's at a hotel room with felix it's so stupid it's so lazy it's so lame whereas diamonds are forever doesn't have that you, there isn't a moment where, in diamonds are forever where you said they were being lazy uh, he drives a moon rover the desert. It's not, why is that lazy? I was That's thinking not about lazy, that same though. thing. It's, it's not, not lazy. lazy. It's dumb, but it isn't lazy. It's dumb, but it's not lazy. It's interesting. Whereas, whereas this movie has moments where you're like, these motherfuckers were lazy. Mm. I mean, this movie definitely suffers a bit from what Thunderball suffered from, which I know you guys always watch Thunderball with like amazement at the underwater stuff, where me coming in as a first time viewer is just like, it's too much. We, I've had enough of this. And then it's the same thing with uh, Live and Let Die. It's just like, why is this boat chasing going on for so long? I think it's closer that <laughs> you, you only live twice. I think uh, we all agree that you only live twice suffers from being lazy. And I think this movie has a little bit more laziness than Diamonds Are Forever. I think after, after uh, Secret Service, they were like, we got to pull out all the stops. We got to be, we got to go bigger coming back to um, Solitaire and her importance on the plot and the fact that personally I think she's the hottest Bond girl so far. <laughs> she's hotter than Tiffany um, that means <laughs> when, she's, when she's in Harlem and better. she takes her clothes off that's the hottest moment we've ever had yeah she These... just she, she does this whole thing and I'm like <sighs> Yeah, <laughs> Tiffany's story arc in the last movie is she Terrible. just so happens to be a part of the diamond smuggling ring. It leads Bond to finding the Howard Hughes type uh, Blofeld. Mm -hmm. And then for the rest of the movie, she's just kind of there. And then we just yeah. kind of throw her into how are we going to get her into the end of the movie? Oh, she sees Blofeld in the parking lot or not in the parking lot. She sees a, a person that she thinks is Blofeld. Yeah. And she goes and it's just like, OK, well, now the movie's being lazy in the fact like you're pointing out this movie's being lazy. But that movie, it's like, how do we get her? How do it, it's it's the screenwriter yeah. sitting in the room saying, how do we get her there? How do we get her to the end of the movie? Because we have to cause she's the star of the movie. We have to get her there. Solitaire, on the other hand, is integral to. Kananga's plan because he uses her as his secret weapon, the way he is able to get around a lot of this stuff. Uh, yeah. And it's a part of his belief. It adds to his character as far as where his beliefs are, because he believes in voodoo. He believes in the mystical. And then Bond not only is in is also trying to infiltrate his operation, but screws up his operation by screwing the girl that has this sight and by doing so messes up his plans and then is like, OK, well, because you screwed up, you are going to die. You pointed out 
that the villain does this great thing where it's like, I don't want you to just die here. You are going to suffer and you're yeah. going to suffer in a way that is is conducive to like what your mind state is because you grew oh, up I in this whole voodoo thing. Sh- yeah, yeah. You're going to have mm. goat, goat skin snake guy is going to dance. He's going to rub his dick on you a little bit while he has you get bitten by a snake and you're going to be like, ah, ah, ah. Yeah, it's How does be Bond great. stop the villain in these movies? He has to stop the villain by stopping his ultimate plan by the end of these films. Yeah. So what does he have to do? He has to go to uh, the back to the island, destroy the poppy seeds. And while he's there, he's going to save Solitaire. Solitaire's at the end of the film. It makes sense why she's there. Okay. The poppy okay. seeds are okay. there. It's the, okay. great at the end of the film. Solitaire might be the determining factor. Solitaire might just be our gold finger in this instance that turns the tide to make this movie. Uh, whereas, whereas like I have a hard time getting over the fact that the, the, the wasted opportunities with Kananga and the stupid ass death with Kananga might be overcome. It might overcome Diamonds Are Forever with just the simple fact that uh, Solitaire is a better, not just a better Bond girl, but just a better character in general. I think that can help me get over the hump of of Diamonds. I I agree, fellas. I think you. So we've used bat, better bad guy as a tiebreaker in the past, and I think we've also used like just general plot as a tiebreaker in the past yeah is it is there a point to arguing which one has a better plot or is it God, fairly no. agreed upon no <laughs> not at this because I, I think what mccurdy was just going over makes sense especially with bond girl i think that i know we're better i'm like i'm arguing better bond girl but really what i'm arguing is the plot takes the bond girl and infuses it with the story a lot better I was going to say throughout it's more the entire story. movie, whereas Trace, yeah. whereas Tiffany is not is used very early on the movie, but not very well in the end of the movie. Yeah. And that's yeah. what to me, it makes it a little bit better of a movie. Yeah, I think that works for me. I think I can justify with with just like because Solitaire is um, between the two, between Tiffany and Solitaire. Solitaire is like you actually feel for her a bit. You actually want to see her succeed. You care about her more. I mean, you see her get the fucking pimp hand extreme. Just uh, so we're clear, though, I mean, both movies also have terrible Bond girls as well. Yeah, Plenty totally. of Tool is a funny mm. joke, but yeah, she's not used very well in the movie. No. Rosie Carver, on the other hand, even though I hate her character and I hate her performance, She's actually used in the plot a little bit more because she's the yeah. she's the uh, as as uh, one screen uh, screenwriting guru would call her. She's the uh, uh, you think she's an ally, but she's not an ally. Rosie, you seem to be staging a remarkable comeback. Mm-hmm. And so she's yeah. at least used in the plot in that sense, even though she sucks. Yeah, but it's blatantly obvious. Up in the hills, <laughs> down <laughs> there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's blatant. But at least she's yeah. used versus it's like a character that's it's versus a character that, uh, <laughs> yeah. that is just shown up and then it's like, yeah. oh, I'm plenty okay, of tools. Wait, wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. You know? What we haven't talked about is by far the best line in the whole movie. And I'll kill you if you don't. But you couldn't. You wouldn't. Not after what we just done. I certainly wouldn't have killed you before. Y'all know me, the Bond purist. That's where I got to be like, good job, Roger. That's some, that's some good Bond sh-. Even though I think all of his puns don't really add to his Bondness in this movie. I think they had a horrible writer just providing all these stupid-ass puns that are not Bond-like. Yeah. That is the most Bond thing that happens in this movie. Well, I certainly wouldn't have killed you before. I love that moment. <laughs> I love it. It's so good. It's so good. Oh, oh, oh I think you love had too it. much. <laughs> All right. So oh, I'm, I'm too much Sazerac. I'm, for I'm you, willing buddy. to concede. <laughs> Two Sazeracs. Scott, I could have sworn that you were agreeing with me and McCurdy at the beginning. Yeah, too. Scott, you made it sound uh, like you well, were I with started us in the it. I started it, but I don't know. I, I, I've been going back and forth again. I've been on the edge this whole time. I, I did enjoy Diamonds Are Forever more. 
honestly, between the two, it's that close that the fact that uh, Solitaire, I think, pulls this film ahead of the other. What it comes down to is even though Live and Let Die has these moments of uh, unrealized potential, because of Solitaire herself, her relationship with Bond, that's enough to to bring this film above Diamonds Are Forever, where the whole thing with Diamonds Are Forever was like, fuck it, we don't care, go watch that episode. You know, this movie tried to take itself more seriously. It it didn't do it. It didn't do well enough to bring itself really high in the list. It's just enough to put itself above Diamonds Are Forever. So our list is now at Goldfinger at number one. From Russia with Love, number two, Dr. No, On Her Majesty's Secret Service, Thunderball, Live and Let Die, Diamonds Are Forever, You Only Live Twice. 